summertime. Hey. Summer, summertime. Hey. Summer, summertime. Hey. Soft. I'm with Lee. Yo, my people, what's going on? It's Elijah Fenn here with Fenn Unboxing. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, just definitely need to talk about this one. It's in regards to Mark Tibbs' response to Ben Davison. Well, not even to Ben, but yeah, it's to Ben Davison because it definitely sounds annoyed with Ben Davison. But yeah, it's just um, basically taking these um, in count. Uh, one thing I always say about his response is all about what he did not say rather than what he did say. Now, obviously, everyone's fully aware Mark Tibbs was... Billy Joel's, yeah, head trainer, head coach. Uh, ben Davison was there on a the night. Now, obviously, from what was said, Ben Davison whispered something into Billy Joel's ear. Um, and obviously, he's saying that how Ben Davison said that how he called a fight. But Mark Tibbs is kind of lousy. He's a bit frustrated and a bit annoyed that the fact that no. I'm the head coach, I'm the head trainer. Basically, it's, 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 a, it's an ego thing, but if we're, if we're being really honest here, yeah, who is the head trainer? The head trainer is Mark Tibbs. Yeah, it's not Ben Davison. So, where Mark Tibbs is saying saying his point where, you know, he was not, Ben Davison was not with Billy Joe, was not was not in the camp for weeks. He was there on a the night, yeah, cool. He said, what, he said a couple of words to Billy Joe, um, but Mark Tibbs was already going to, going to pull the fight listen Mark Tibbs is an experienced head trainer yeah maybe not had maybe not been in, in a fight of that magnitude before but he's a, experienced enough to know you, you get what I'm saying so yeah uh yeah I do believe it was Tibbs who pulled the fight yeah I know Ben Davis I can't remember what Billy just said in his um in his tweet, well, I don't know if it's tweet or whatever, whatever when Billy Joe spoke about it, I don't, can't remember what Billy Joe did say about it. But in regards to Tibbs, yeah, like even though he was saying what he was saying, it's funny how he did not say the thing that everyone wants to hear, and that is in that is in regards to what happened with, um, yeah, but basically about not getting the right response, yeah. He didn't say about Billy Joe wanting to continue the fight. And you didn't hear none of that. So, yeah, like I said, it's it's a thing where it's like, it's, it's, it's all damage control. And that's the honest truth. It's damage control. Now, like I said, I once again will repeat myself here. If someone quits, whatever, they, they can only take as much punishment as what they want. And you have to think on the long term. You've got to think of your long term when it comes to health and etc. Just ask Anthony, Anthony and Gogo, and Gogo, yeah? Just ask him, yeah? Like, so it's, the way, the way, like I said, the way I, how I always look on things is, there's a lot of things going around. The question is, you quit. Just, you know what, I, you know what I want to see? I want to see a Billy Joe Saunders interview with Boxing Social, Rob Tebbett, Yeah? But more than likely, I would love to see it with um, Pep Talk UK. Yeah, that's what I would want to see. Yeah, Pep Talk UK. Just obviously give a man the platform. Yeah. Uh, ask the questions, man. Ask the real, like I said, ask the real questions. Yeah, like, do, what, what's your views on with the bois? You get what I'm saying now? Now you've experienced what you experienced. You can say what you want. Like I said, it will be completely different if Billy Joe reacted in a certain way. Nope, I'm getting out of that fight. I'm getting out of there. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Oh, who? Ben Davidson even said about how Billy Joe was talking about who he will go and fight Orthodox. That kind of... Listen, you know what? I might come out. I might be coming out and say, look, if they've got, if the zone have got, like, listen, release the corner videos. Yeah, release the corner. What happened in the corners? Yeah, I might be coming out and say, right, you know what? What Billy Joe, Billy Joe saying that right, I want to come out, I want to fight Southpaw. Yeah, I don't believe it, but if he said it, he said it. Do you get what I'm saying? I wouldn't come up and and then I'll be like, I'll be the first one to say, you know what? Hands up, I got this wrong. I thought he quit, but from what I see, 
he quits. Yeah? Do I blame him for quitting? No. Do I look at him as a lesser, as a human being for quitting? No. Do I feel like he's a hypocrite? Yeah, in regards to what he said about Dubois? Yes. And that's all that's that's what it is. Mark Tibbs is the head trainer. Mark Tibbs knows that Billy Joe quit. Yeah? He regardless, he ain't gonna put his fight out of there. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's what it is. So people, please, like, do not get it twisted. I look at looking at Billy Joe's, um, looking at his cheekbone. It looks like it's broken. Um, obviously, you definitely need to release footage. People's referring to is him swelling and all that kind of stuff. There, uh, from what I'm only going by what I see in it. I'm not. My mind's not clouded by what I see on social media and all that kind of stuff there. Like, even I post something about what they're saying about um, Billy Joe's fat shit, whatever. Number one is on his right eye, not his left. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, we'll, we'll, just, have to wait. we'll just have to wait and see. But you don't tell me your thoughts. Um, everything, everything that's been going on right now, everything I'm referring to, it all looks suspect to me. And yeah, you don't you don't just tell me your thoughts. Um, is it fair to say that everyone right now believes that Billy Joe quits, or do you believe? Obviously, when I say quit, look, the Mark Breeden. Obviously, he waved the foot. Why do I keep saying Mark Breeden? <laughs> Jeez, Mark Tibbs, he waved the fight off. Yeah, but Billy Joe did not contest to it. Did not look peed off about it. Did not look head down and all that kind of stuff there like no 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 you get what I'm saying yeah that's his mom Kel Brook had a broken notable bone yeah and look what just go back and watch Kel Brook against Golovkin that's what I'll say about that but yeah you don't tell me your thoughts it's Elijah Friend here with Friend Unboxing make sure you like share comment and subscribe and until the next one stay blessed everyone alright cool summertime hey. summer summertime Soft. I'm with Lay.